Hey guys, what's up? Scrub Nation over here, and today we're gonna learn how to make the play of the game in Sony Vegas. So, first of all, I'm gonna explain what the play of the game is. If you play Overwatch, you may know what play of the game is. It's basically, you get a lot of kills, and at the end, they showcase it uh, so you can brag about yourself or something. It's really nice, but have you ever wondered on how to make your own play of the game? Well, that's what we're gonna learn today. First of all, I'm going to show you an example. This is from my latest MLG video. Game. Bravo, combo. So, that's play of the game. Overwatch. So, first of all, you need to go to Dropbox. My Dropbox link in the description below. And download this file, Overwatch template sim.rar. Just 3 MB, so it won't take a very long time. Next, go to your RAR file, right click, and extract it. Once extracted, you'll get a folder. Open up that folder, just maximize this. And all you have to do is install this font. Press on the install button. I already have it, but I'll install it again. That's the big noodle font, you need that. Next you go on to Overwatch Play the Game, Sim Overlay. And while your thing is opening up, you need a source video. I already have my own source video and basically what you do, this is the whole thing actually that you're gonna edit. It looks really complex but I'm gonna teach you everything about it. So this is my source video, it's about this kid who's cutting oranges because he looks so hardcore. So, first of all, I'm going to just take it to the scene, which, because when they say play of the game, yeah, you know, like they show a little bit of a preview. So I want it to be when he takes out his katana. Okay, perfect. So, good. I'll just make you watch it for a second. Slay of the game. So, that's it. Okay, um... Just wanna put it a bit more ahead. Wait. Where did she take all this katana? Yeah, okay. There you go. The kid looks really cool though. So, first of all, you're gonna have to edit is going over here. Just click on the film and it says play of the game. You're obviously not gonna edit that out because, well, you won't play of the game. But I wanna edit out Tiki. I want to name the kid... Honey Boo Boo. And whatever you say over here gets copied down over there, so you don't need to edit that out again. And this also has Tiki. It's basically the orange overlay for it. Wait, uh, there you go. Press the film. Honey boo boo. Okay. Honey, oh. Boo boo. Perfect. Now next thing you have to edit out is over here. Same thing, you just have to put honey boo boo or whatever text you want to put. Boo boo. Perfect. And you just go to as counter terrorist over here. We obviously don't want him as a counter terrorist. I want him as... Um... As... Katana... Katana... Kid. Perfect. Hopefully that gets copied there, yep it does. Now next thing what you're going to look out for is when he slashes the uh, oranges. Ooh, perfect, that was almost a hit scene. Let's move it by keyframes. Boom. I put, just press M and you can put down a marker over here. Put this name, first hit. Perfect. Now basically what you have to do is, as you can see the skull thing over here, yeah? That's basically gonna be the kill thing and just move it to the first hit. All you have to do is press on the down button up over here, press all tracks and regions, and just drag it to where your orange thing is. Obviously your orange thing goes over there, but you at least know the exact place and position where you wanna place it. And with that orange thing, you know what else moved? The eliminated and play of the game stuff. So obviously after this the things is it's coming on I'm not gonna really use it so because I'm only gonna register one hit for him the rest I'm not gonna really use it okay so nothing comes in our way of world domination <laughs> so okay perfect 
Now as you can see over here on the heading, there's like play the game by Tiki as counter terrorist. We just need to edit that out a bit. So go over here. This is play the game by, so I don't want to edit that out. Just go click on the film again. And Tiki I want to replace by Boo Boo. Let me just full screen it for you. As you can see over here, Honey Boo Boo is coming inside play of the game. I don't want that to happen. Just click on the screen thing over here. Once that's done, go on the second keyframe and move Honey Boo Boo just to the side. So he doesn't, yeah, I mean, Honey Boo Boo doesn't come inside play of the game. Perfect. Next thing, edit as counter terrorist. I usually like to, you know, make the fonts a bit more bigger, such as 12. So it's actually viewable. Katana Kid. That's good. So as you can see over there, as Katana Kid comes up over there. Now this is something that I prefer to do, but it's pretty much your choice. Once you get to the play of the game and you get to the eliminations and all that stuff, there are like two boxes over here. Just delete the first one, as you really do not need it. No one really needs it. Okay, perfect. Now where the previous ones were, just basically move the second boxes over there. Because the second boxes are actually the same thing. But it actually is just the fade out that's over here, that's not in the first box. So, first of all, click on the red one. As you can see, it's the red over there. Click on the film and he eliminates an orange. Orange. Okay. Basically what you do is you resize the orange because it's so teeny tiny, I mean, how are we supposed to read it? Okay, that's a pretty good height. Good, orange comes up over here. Next thing you press on the screen, you edit out eliminations to orange. Obviously make the eliminations a bit more smaller looking because, well, that's how it is in the game. Good. And remember, go on the first frame so it affects only the first one because if you actually edit out over here, like imagine if I put it up over here, turns out it does it like a transition and stuff like that. You don't want that happening. So, let's just put it as it was. Wait. This is the number of which he was eliminated at. In the game, basically when you eliminate someone, you get that number, so he was like maybe 88% of his health when you started firing at him and you took that away from him. And next you edit out the fire, put it right next to the kill over here. And now as you can see, since we synced everything up together very nicely, we'll play it back again, our creation. Now as you can see over there, once he eliminated the orange, everything got eliminated, but just one small little detail, the skull over here. Now I like to make the skull a bit more bigger, so it's actually viewable, so just go to the second keyframe, make it just a bit more bigger, that's actually viewable, right, okay. Boom, that's perfect. So, if you want to, like, imagine put lots of eliminations, stack one upon each other, just create four video frames as it's over here, and put copy paste the elimination things, just put it on top of it, and you can edit out that whole thing. So, that's how you make play of the game, as you can see that kid did it over there. So, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you guys have any more suggestions for any future tutorials which you'd really like to learn about in Sony Vegas, don't forget to re leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys could, please do check out my MLG The Last Bastion. Because it took me a lot of time and a lot of effort to make that thing. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.